Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the Ascent Combat Framework, Motion Warping, and pretty much like knockbacks and things like that. So for example, if I hit this guy, he'll fly back a good distance. And if he hits me, if he hits me, I'll fly back a good distance. Hey. Jerk. Let's get started. So what you're going to do is actually go to the action set of your characters that you're going to modify. I'm going to open up the action set for my skeleton and my character, my cow character. And what you want to do is go under the hit actions that you have. So I'll open the hit for my skeleton and my cow. And what you're going to do is scroll towards the bottom. And this warp distance is pretty much going to determine how far your character goes. So I'll set this to 1000 and this to 0.5 and 0.5. So it's going to kind of fly back really fast and also go a great distance. So if I just hit it, yeah, you'll see it kind of just flies out of the screen. And now he has to come back and hit it again. It's going to have a really big knockback. So if I just set the distance to be less, let's do like 50. And then I'll hit play. Now when I hit it, it'll barely move. And if I set this to something like, like 500 and I change the time from 0.5 to 0.1. Sorry. If I change, yeah, the warp rotation time and the end time to point to one, then it's gonna be nearly instant. So if I go ahead and hit this guy, he flies out really quick. And if I change it to zero, it just turns it off. So let me try something like point oh oh one, see if this is gonna turn it off or just make it like instant. Yeah, so <laughs> if you do a really small number like point zero 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 one, it just teleports it, which could be useful for certain things, but yeah, in my case, that's a bit too fast. So I'll change this to 0.5 and 0.5, and I'll change the distance back to, it was 250, but I think 300 is good. So now when I hit it, it'll rotate towards me, and it'll travel a good distance. And this is just because I want the character or the player to run to the enemy and attack again if needs be, or to have the enemy come back and attack me. And yeah, that's pretty much it for knockback distances with the warp motion. Thanks for watching Code of Zero. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video.